This is the story of hunger in America. Um, you struggle at the end of the month um, to make ends meet. This is also the story of hunger in Omaha, McCook, Missouri Valley, and beyond. You can't feed your kids. At a community center on a cold Saturday morning, the line is wrapped around the building. Okay, how many in your house? Six. Six. They've come for help. Never actually thought I'd probably, you know, be going to a food, uh, you know, to like a food pantry. They've come for hope. Yeah, I'm just hoping to bring home some food so I can eat home more regularly. Used to be this was a story only someone who lived on the streets would understand. But this is real life for way too many single moms. I have two. I have two older ones. Working dads. I got a uh, four-year-old and a three-year-old daughter. Retirees and so many more who come up short every month. But do you want a little box for macaroni and cheese or you got enough room? They are the new faces of hunger. The faces the food bank for the Heartland serves. We've got a lot of it, so help yourself. And they are growing by the day. We started seeing a huge increase in 2009, slightly after the economy tanked. Um, we have not seen a let up. In 2010, Food Bank for the Heartland put food on the table for 150,000 people through food pantries, emergency shelters, after school programs, senior housing sites, and rehabilitation centers. People like Lisa. How much we get? She comes to this mobile food pantry once a month. Okay, no more. So her girls don't know the pain of hunger. We want to leave some for other people. Yeah. We're not the only ones that go hungry. The food bank's goal is to make sure no one goes hungry. You want to get the chicken for mommy? And these days, that's a pretty tall order. We serve 77 counties in Nebraska and 16 in Western Iowa. Staggering numbers considering the food bank and where it began. It all started in 1981 on the corner of 50th and Hamilton. The need was just too great to ignore. That first year alone, the food bank distributed 38,000 pounds of food. It's very hard for people to understand that people in the heartland do go hungry. Uh, thank heavens for the people in 1981 whose hearts were big enough and brains were strong enough to create a collective system for distributing emergency food. This is what it looks like today. Rows and rows and rows of food. Nine million pounds flew off the shelves in 2010. We will distribute approximately 10,000 boxes of macaroni and cheese every single month. A small army of volunteers, people just like you, made it all possible. Service, got to give back. Give thanks for what I have. So, definitely, that's what it's about. No one knows that better than ConAgra Foods. More than half of what the food bank brings in every year comes from corporate donors. And ConAgra has never been shy about giving. Food companies are in a good position to help address the hunger uh, issue. From funding the kids' cafes to donating truckloads of food, the food giant has been with the food bank every step of the way. It's important to give back to the communities we serve. We have a corporate responsibility platform here at ConAgra Foods, and uh, it really consists of three planks. Good for you, good for the community, and good for the planet. The food bank falls under the good for the community. And that's why Food Bank for the Heartland is once again on the move. In the summer of 2011, this building at 106th and J will be their new headquarters. More space means more opportunity to feed seniors, families, and hungry children who don't always know where their next meal is coming from. At the Quest Center, there's 17,000 seats in the arena. And if every one of those seats was filled with a small child, that's how many children go to bed hungry each night in Douglas County. But not on this Saturday. And I'm really grateful for what you guys got going on here. Uh, it's a godsend. Not for the hundreds who lined up early to leave with a little security. Turkey or a ham. And potato sauce. On this night, these children will go to bed with a full belly. You know, I just want to make sure my kids have the food. Thanks to Food Bank for the Heartland, its corporate partners, countless volunteers, and donors big and small. We say thank you to the Food Bank. We're going to make it another month. Yes, hunger has a face. It's this face, and this face, and this face. I might need another box. And the future? Well, that depends on how quickly hunger can be eliminated.
To donate to Food Bank for the Heartland or get involved, call 402-331-1213 or go to www.foodbankheartland.org.